Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Good morning and praise the Lord. Today is Thursday, July 25th, 2024. Today we celebrate the Dormition of St. Anna, Mother of the Theotokos. According to tradition, Anna, the ancestor of God, lived for 69 years, and her spouse, Joachim, for 80. According to one account, St. Joachim died two years before St. Anna. The Theotokos had been orphaned of both her parents already when she was 11 years of age, when she was living in the temple. St. Anna is invoked for conceiving children and for help in difficult childbirth. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning is from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 4, verses 22 through 27. Brethren, Abraham had two sons, one by a slave and one by a free woman. But the son of the slave was born according to the flesh, the son of the free woman through promise. Now this is an allegory. These women are two covenants. One is from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. She is Hagar. Now Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia. She corresponds to the present Jerusalem, for she is in slavery with her children. But the Jerusalem above is free, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, O barren one who does not bear. Break forth and shout, you who are not in travail. For the children of the desolate one are many more than the children of her that is married. Our Gospel reading this morning is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 8, verses 16 through 21. The Lord said, No one, after lighting a lamp, covers it with a vessel, or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a stand, that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hid that shall not be made manifest, nor anything secret that shall not be known and come to light. Take heed, then, how you hear, for to him who has, for to him who has will more be given, and from him who has not, even what he thinks that he has, will be taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach him for the crowd. And he was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, desiring to see you. But he said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, present everywhere and filling all things, Treasury of blessings and giver of life, Come and abide in us and save our souls, gracious Lord. want to share with you eight tips for the contemporary man, according to St. Paisios. And although these were written centuries ago, if not millennia ago, they are still relevant today. Number one, completely have trust in God. Two, simplify your life to avoid anxiety. Three, In every test, say, thank you, my God, because this was needed for my salvation. Four, acquire humility, and prayer will come naturally. Five, seek for peace in prayer, not spiritual pleasure. Six, forget the good deeds you do. Remember the good done to you. Seven, keep your mind near God. Eight, read the Father's even one or two lines a day. That is eight Tips for the Contemporary Man, according to St. Paisios. And something tells me that if we were to study St. Paisios in depth, we would find more than eight tips for the Contemporary Man. But that will have to suffice for our purposes on this day, the 25th of July, 2024. My name is James Newcomb. Thank you for pressing play and sharing few moments of your day with us. 
We are in your earballs every day. We miss one every now and then, but that's life. But that's the aim of the show is to share. I consider it a mini liturgy just to get our heart and our mind centered and focused on God to begin the day. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. We will close, as we do every morning, with the Lord's Prayer. Thank you for listening. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.